Hello guys, this is your girl Summertime and I'm here to show you how to embed quizzes into Canvas. Yes, quizzes. Yes, quizzes are actually an excellent learning platform for educators. It's fun, it's interactive, and of course, it creates an air of competition in the classroom, makes learning exciting. So let's go. So we're gonna go to the quizzes page. And of course, I have already created an account in Quizzes. I'm going to click on that. And in the search bar, I'm going to put my content area. So I am into ELA. And so I'm going to put a topic that reflects what I would teach on probably on a daily basis. And I'm going to go with um, parts of speech. Select enter. And of course, it gives you a variety to choose from. For those of us who are already familiar with quizzes, you know that there's so much to work with. Okay. Um, but you can actually filter this to suit your needs and the needs of your students. So I'm going to go with high school. And I am into ELA. So I'm going to go with English. All right. This is it. We've gotten this part. And so now we're here and we have the options to choose from below. And I'm going to select the first one right here. And since we want to embed this quiz into Canvas, we need to assign it as a homework task. And of course, I'm going to select a date, a suitable date for the students because we want to give them enough time. And I'm going to go with December 16. And I'm going to make the time at least three 45 p.m. Okay, so that would be a good time to work with. And when we scroll down, we're going to see that we want to make sure all these are turned on. We want all the exciting stuff, the power-ups, the redemption questions. We want the music and the memes. We want all of those things, okay? Um, and then you have the option to select from here, Okay. And once you're satisfied with what you have on your screen, you select continue. So when we get to this page, what we actually need is the link. Okay, we want this link. So we're going to copy the link. And once you've copied the link, you're going to open another window. My window is already opened. But you're going to open another window and you're going to type in iframe generator. And you click on that. And this is what it is. Once you're there, you click on the iframe generator. And of course, I'm going to give my, my quiz a name. And I'm going to call this ELA. And in this URL frame, I'm going to paste the link. And I want to preview just to make sure that it's working. Yes, it is. And I'm going to close that window and go back. And of course, since I'm satisfied, I'm going to generate Okay, and of course, since I've already generated the code, I'm going to copy and I'm going to go back to Canvas. So I'm going to go to my home screen in Canvas and I'm going to select from one of the tiles. And I'm going to go with this one right here and I'm going to go to assignments. Now you have the option to put it in modules as well. Okay, and so I'm going to create the assignment. And I'm going to call this one um, grammar. And of course, you want to be able to go between back and forth between the HTML editor and the rich content editor. In this section, I'm going to paste the embedded code. And you want to make sure that our students are able to view this in the full screen. And so you go to 90%. And of course, you want to go back to HTML editor just to make sure it's working. And once you're satisfied, add a line that center. When we scroll down, of course, I have already put my information in as to, you know, my points, percentage, um, assignment group category. And of course, I've checked one of the submission types. This, however, um, you must do it because you have applied it as an assignment, but 
as the task is done in quizzes, the grades are automatically stored. And as the educator, you have the option to go and sync the grades into your grading platform. Okay. Now I've given my students two attempts and I'm going to make my due date the 14th. Okay. I'm also going to make it available from the 12th of December. And I am going to give them the date that I have selected in quizzes because you don't want one ending before the other. And once I'm satisfied, I'm going to save and publish. Okay, and this is what it looks like. And we want to make sure that this works. So we're going to go to the home screen and then we go to student view. And we are going to go to assignments. And in upcoming assignments, we should see the task and it's right here. And I'm going to click on grammar. And there you have it. And so we want to make sure that this works. And so I'm going to type, we have already put a name there. So we want to make sure that it works. So let's go and see. So let's start the game. So this is what your students will actually be seeing. Okay, and this is just to emphasize that it is actually working as it should. Right, there you have it. And so, if this video was helpful to you, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when I upload other videos. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time.